Hey everybody. It's five minute Friday. And here we are with the very first of what will hopefully be many five minute Fridays, where we put five minutes on the clock and strive to give you at least one amazing tip that will make your gym just a little bit more awesome. So let's not waste any more time. Let's put five minutes on the clock and get to it. Having a full power rack in my gym has been a godsend. It's helped me do a lot of things that I never before thought were gonna be possible. I mean, in addition to allowing me to lift safely at home without a spotter and not kill myself, it's allowed me to do a lift that I never thought I would be able to do in the first place, and that's the deadlift. See, I'm six foot six, 50 years old, with four bad discs in my back. Honestly, deadlifting wasn't something I ever thought I would be able to do. And when I hired a coach to help me with my back pain, I was shocked when the first thing he said is, we need to get you squatting and deadlifting. How was I gonna do that? I couldn't even bend over and touch my toes. Well, the answer is something called rack pulls. And rack pulls have become one of my favorite movements that I train on a weekly basis. Every week, I step inside this rack, I set the safety pins to a height that's safe for me, I set my barbell on top of them, load it up, and knock out one of a few different types of deadlifts. Doing rack pulls has literally changed my life. It's helped heal my back, and it's helped me be able to do so many more things in life a whole lot better and a lot more pain-free. The problem is, is that every time I set my nice barbell on those metal safety pins, I cringed. That's no way to take care of your bar. And it really bothered me. I tried a ton of different ways to, to alleviate that. I bought a beater bar where I thought, hey, I'm gonna buy a cheap bar and I don't really care if it gets beat up. Well, the problem is a cheap bar's got cheap knurling and if you wanna do deadlifts, you need good knurl on the bar. So you've gotta use your good bar, not the beater bar. So then I put, put uh, fat grips on the, on the barbell where the barbell met the safeties. And that worked until I dropped 300 pounds on the fat grips and they split open in the middle of winter. I duct taped towels around the safety pins, but still not an ideal situation. So one day I was walking through Home Depot and I looked over and I see this bin of PVC pipe. And I look and I'm like, you know, I'll bet that'll fit on my safeties. So I picked up a couple of pre-cut lengths. What I'm gonna show you is how I bought them at Home Depot. This is the PVC pipe that we're talking about. It's two inch PVC. It came in a pre-cut length, which was perfect. Next thing you do is you take the sleeve for your safety pin. It's real important to use the sleeve. If you put the PVC straight on the, just the pin itself, what happens is that the, the point of contact is too small. And when you drop a barbell on here, it will crack the PVC. If you use the sleeve, the surface area of contact between the sleeve and what's supporting it, uh, between the PVC and what's supporting it is broader and wider. So it's a stronger piece. And I've been using this piece for well over a year, even in kind of cold temperatures in the winter and never had an issue. There's no cracks, no breaks or anything like that. So make sure you put it over the sleeve. Then what you do is you take your, your pin and you set it up just like you would normally set up your safety. So put that in there. And there you have it. To show you just how cool of a little trick this is and how well these really work, I've loaded the bar with 415 pounds. As many of you know who deadlift, when you step up to the bar to pull, even the least little bit off center or off kilter is gonna throw you off mentally and physically. So a lot of times you wanna make those last minute adjustments to the bar, but with 415 pounds, if it's just sitting on pins or it's sitting on the floor, those adjustments are hard and a lot of us will skip them and just pull anyway, which isn't a great idea, especially like I said, for somebody like myself, who's got kind of a bad back. With this system, the cool thing is, is Again, it's 415 pounds. Watch how easy this moves around. If I need to pull one side forward or back a little bit, boom, forward or back. If I need to go left or right, they just roll. It works great. So this is a really cool hack. Um, I was thrilled when I found it, but you can see for yourself just how well this works. And again, metal on PVC, it's not gonna damage my barbell. So let's take a close look at the PVC. Again, this is after about a year of use. You can see it's definitely scuffed up. Uh, some of the PVC actually does end up in the bar. 
um, when you're done, and that's good because it's not damaging uh, either one. This is gonna last for a long time. I'd be surprised if this wore out anytime soon. So I've seen quite a few and I've tried quite a few different uh, ways to protect my bar when I'm doing rack pulls, but by far, this one is not only the best at protecting my bar, but it did a great job at allowing me to more easily set up for the deadlift. That's all I've got for today, for today's Five Minute Friday. If you like these, give me a thumbs up. If you've got tips you wanna share with other people, post those down in the comments and I'll make sure to make a video about them if they're good, because it's cool to give people these little hacks here and there that'll hopefully make your time in the gym just that much better. So until next Friday, I'm Tim with Gym Crafter.